Hi, my name is Charlie Saxton, and I play Toby Gonzalski. Hi, I am Lex Medrano, and I play Claire Nunez. Hi, I am Emil Hirsch, and I play um, Jim Lake Jr. on Troll Hunters Rise of Titans. Pick a location for your home. So we have a magical tree forest. I think I'm going to go with this coasty looking kind of beachy with rocks. It's kind of very Oregon kind of vibe. I am going to go with the magical forest for sure. I'm going to go the mossy forest. Pick a house. I think I'm gonna go with this tree house in the middle of this snowy escape foresty kind of thing. And that looks pretty cool. The little cottage, the purple and the pink with like all the, the greenery in front. It's kind of a boxy kind of uh, Spanish architecture. I don't know if it's really Spanish architecture. Mini tower vibes, which I'm trying to dig in. So I'm gonna oh, pick yeah. one. Pick a garden for your home. I'm gonna go with this really, it's, has the the wooden bridge it's very zen it kind of it's very soothing when i look at it lots of purple i love all the purple okay i'm definitely going to have to side with charlie on that one like claire we both love our purple okay um well looking at these options there's one on the bottom right which almost looks like a singapore plant garden city mm. box Ooh. pick a home library oh dang these are all great. I do like that library in the bottom left. It's giving me like Ghostbusters opening scene vibes for sure. I do need a ladder because I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go with the first one, top left, good old fashioned reading nook. The middle two give me blinky vibes, like to the maximum extent. Big time. I can't really, I think I'm just so attracted to those blue doors. Very basic library, what I'm used to. Some of the other ones look a little high, ladders are kind of sketchy and maybe even unlucky. And the big statues, like in an earthquake in LA, if that landed on your foot, you'd never walk again. It's the cool library, actually. I gotta say, man, congrats on that cool library. I'm jealous of that one. Don't have any library regret. <laughs> Pick a bedroom. Oh man, all these look super cozy. I think I'm gonna go with the high rise. I love that view. It's a great view. And the sunset looks spectacular from up there. Okay, we are on very opposite pages. <laughs> I am gonna go with the first one because I love my, my dark little layers. Okay, I'm gonna go with just some simple vibes, not like too much window, not, you know, too dark, kind of just chillness for high window. So, you know, if someone tries to peek in, they still are gonna have a hard time fitting through that window. Pick the perfect place to take a bath. There's nothing better than a natural bath right on the beach, right on the rocks. Probably not as warm as a regular bath. I am going to agree with you. I love the ocean. And you may be right on it not being as warm, but you know, who cares? Get used to it, your body will adjust. I'm gonna go a little simple style, nice little bathtub, a little house plant, not too many, you know, too much going on. Nice little shower there, just a little book. Seems kind of nice. And you got everything you need in there. And there's a shower right there. So if you don't want to take a bath, you can take a shower. It's multi-versatile. Pick a dish to cook in your new home. Oh. I do love a good cinnamon roll in the morning. Spicy chili. Uh, might be breaking in that new bathroom if I have one of those. I'm gonna go with the cinnamon rolls because it'll make my house smell amazing. Charlie, I'm convinced you're copying me. Um, or you're living in my brain, either one. I'm definitely gonna go cinnamon rolls. I have an insane, insane favorite thing about cinnamon rolls with pecans on top it's probably like one of my favorite things i call them sticky buns i'm just gonna go kind of just standard cheeseburger just sometimes i just need a cheeseburger amen to that brother. oh my gosh <gasps> what did everybody yeah. get i'm a dragon you're fiery and full of passion in all aspects of your life you don't mind being the first person to speak up against something that you believe is wrong. Definitely passionate about everything as well and super fiery. Claire, more importantly, is also very fiery, very brave, very courageous, and she's extremely passionate about Jim 
and Toby and her little family. I got dragon. Oh, great. <laughs> a couple of dragons here. I do feel like I'm very passionate in all aspects of my life, but not only am I passionate, Toby also is very, very passionate as well. Doesn't mind being the first person to speak up when people are being wrong. So I definitely feel like the dragon is the perfect mythical creature for Tobias Domzalski. Okay, Emil. I got a, a unicorn. Your inner mythical okay. creature is a unicorn. You're all about keeping a positive and bright attitude, even when you don't always feel like it. You like to surround yourself with bright colors and motivational quotes. <laughs> I'm very excited, and I think it's a good representation of, of Jim, of Jim, and on Troll Hunters. He's a very upbeat, positive guy who always has to try to maintain a, a good attitude. I just saw the movie last night completed for the first time and it's it's just so incredible what everybody did. Be sure to check out Troll Hunters Rise of the Titans streaming now on Netflix. I was like, I'm a little biased, but this movie rocks.